So we're looking at this in, yeah, we're reading like this label and we're looking at that thing on the left. Alrighty then. Anybody know what we're looking at with these labels in this thingy? Mike Forrest. So that's your rating plate. So maximum working pressure is 125, a PSI of 450. That's your name plate. That's the U stamp on it. It tells you that it's a code pressure vessel. Do you know what the pressure vessel is? That's an unfired pressure vessel, isn't it? It is an unfired pressure vessel. That's very good. It's not a direct fired pressure vessel. I guess that's the way we go. Mike's on the like right track. There's this water line coming down into this little solenoid thing with this sensor that the sensor is sticking into these like cast iron fittings. There's copper there and they pro pressed it. So we got cast iron tees, cast iron fittings all over the place here. That's the label right there. This is actually a drain from a tank. That sensor is sensing temperature. Why would there be a sensor sensing temperature out of a tank that's a pressure vessel? Is that the blowdown separator? So that's your, your tempering connection right there for your drain? So why would it be hooked to this and go in a drain? Because you can't have it over 150 degrees going to drain. Right. So it's literally going, hey, that tank's dumping water into the drain in 150. So this label is actually a label, and the picture you're looking at is from a maybe Garrett McKinnon does. Is that a boiler blow off tank? It is a boiler blow off tank. Very good. Does anybody know what the thickness of the metal that is used to uh, construct a boiler blow off tank? Three eighths. Three eighths. Very good. Just because you may never work on them, and I guarantee some of you will come in contact with them, but if nobody's ever pointed some of the stuff out, you may not recognize what they are. Boiler blow off tanks are typically in every single solitary dry cleaners that I've ever worked in, they're part of your plumbing code. You're going to be hooking water up to them. You're going to be draining them to your drainage system. Um, so you might not ever work on them. But as you see pictures like this, you see labels, you've read about labels, you've read about, about standards and guiding pressures and pressure vessels. Even though this one's not a water heater, it's still a pressure vessel. Bad things can happen if somebody makes a mistake. So that's why it's designed the way it is, to hopefully minimize the bad thing that could happen. Um, but there you go. 